Um, this first poem is called Remembering Breakfast. I walk the beach at night while seagulls sleep, people sleep, seashells formed deep in the ocean, their hard shells impenetrable as they ride rough seas and tossed on shore, sleep. I count the waves as they come in on high tide, the stars brightly shining, others dying, the ocean capturing their light regardless. I breathe in salt air, remembering how you liked your eggs scrambled, your coffee black with one packet of sweetener, working your Sunday crossword in pen, so sure of yourself. You never breathe the word about how you were planning to sleep in another ocean, your hard shell formed, ready to land on other shores, your starlight for me extinguished. You didn't even pack one photo of us together, captured on calmer seas or during the first waves of our high tides. Um, I'm going to read this next poem. It was. Uh, Inspired by uh, Wallace Stevens' uh, 13 Ways of Looking at a Blackbird. So this is my homage to that, and this is called 13 Ways of Looking at Red. Number one, day-old black coffee poured into my favorite red mug still tastes good. Number two, when my ex-husband smashed his thumb, blood flew everywhere, splattering machinery crimson. Number three, my short stubby nails painted red leave streaks across a white page. Number four, my high school sweetheart painted his hearse-like Ford LTD cherry tomato just for me. Number five, my fingers fly over the red keys of my HP Mini. Number six, sunset cast over a lake awakens love. Number seven, Certain words snag the eye like a fish hook. Highlight them in red. Number eight. Copper Canyon red lipstick glides across my lips several times a day. Number nine. Plump cherries stain fingers, clothes, napkins when the juice squirts between teeth and lips. Number 10. Legend claims Spanish moss came from the raven hair of a southern plantation owner's Spanish fiance cut and thrown upon an oak tree. Split open the fiber, you find a single strand of coppery red. Number 11, a borrowed red flower print dress dazzled in the family reunion photos. Number 12, the only piece missing from my garnet jewelry set is a nine stone silver sterling silver bracelet. Number 13, he made me a candlelight dinner poured glasses of red wine, and later wrapped me in a plush ruby blanket, his gift. Uh, okay, uh, this next one is called Gray Strays. A silver strand hid in the part until I had uncovered it years ago. I plucked it out. Castro, please, Castro. I plucked it out and finished brushing my glossy brown hair. A month later, the silver strand was back. I plucked it out again, but stuck it in. It kept coming back. This time, not alone. It brought friends. I blamed my job. I blamed my ex-husband. I blamed sleepless nights. I blamed my ex-lovers. I blamed my diet. But there is no blame. It is age. I have more brown hair than gray. I can't help seeing only the gray. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, this next one is called Sea Diamond. Since I live so close to Galveston, obviously, I, a lot of my inspiration for my poems comes from the, the beach where I used to spend a lot of time when I was a little girl. So this is called Sea Diamond. What does a clam think when he opens his mouth to take a, to take a gulp of sea water? but gets a grain of sand stuck on his tongue. It must be maddening, a terrible itch the clam can't scratch. Imagine the terror he must feel, thinking he might be dying. All he can do is desperately clear his throat, hacking up digestive juices to cover that infernal grain of sand until a sea diamond is born. Then, just when the clam rests on the sandy ocean bottom, he's scooped up, jaws pried open, 
a sea diamond in his center ripped out. Insides burn like the heart of an underwater volcano. And I will short one. Okay. I'll read this one. What to say? I've no head for writing winning words wrapped in sunshine tonight. Or perhaps the words have no head for me, preferring to scurry off into shadows. We've been fighting a tug of war. Some nights are brilliant, shining diamonds glittering the hungry page. Other nights, they're black lumps of coal unwilling to sparkle. I have no head for writing words tonight. Tomorrow, we tug again. Thank you.